Okay, welcome to another Blender tutorial. We are moving in a slightly different direction this time and we are looking at the absolute basics of animating objects within the Blender program. Okay, what is animation? Well, animation is moving things over time. If you see this little clock down here, that one there is called the timeline bar. Um, and what it basically shows is where I am in time. Here, the time is starting at 1 and ending at 2.50. You may be thinking to yourself, 2.50, 2.50 what? Is that seconds? Well, in this case here, no, it's not. This is actually a series of like photographs of frames. Okay, starting at frame number 1, and it's going to move through a series of pictures that will seem like our object is moving from one place to another. For example, frame 1 might be there, frame 2 might be there, frame 3 there, frame 4 there, frame 5 there, frame 6 there, frame 7 there, and so on and so on and so on. And if we press the play button down here on our, on our timeline, you'd see the object go whoosh and zoom off into space along that direction. Now, I'll, we won't go into what you know frames per second yet. Basically, it's like the speed of showing the photos. What we're going to do is we're just going to press, for example, Alt A right now, and as you can see, the bar is zipping along the bottom. Okay, and that's actually showing up here the frames and what's happening over time. As you can tell already, nothing's happening. And that's because we haven't got any movement happening inside this window just yet. We can fix that. And let me show you how. Okay, frame number one. See, frame number one right there. Okay, we are going to set the position of this cube right there. So I'm going to press the I key, and then I'm going to select location. What I've done right now is, at frame number one, I've set the location of this object right there. Okay, excellent. What I can then go is over to frame 40. Oh, see how I just clicked in there and it went not quite to 40? I can type in there 40 and get exactly right on 40. And then I can move the object along, let's say the, um, the Y axis, see the little Y down there? And then I can go I location. So what I've done now is, at number 1 I've told the location to be there, at number 40 I've told it to be there, and after that it's got no more instructions. It just keeps on staying there forever. So let's say 80, we're going to um, um, drag it upwards and backwards. And then I'm going to press the I key for there. Uh, location. Now, let's grab the bar. Note what happens. Even though I dragged it upwards and backwards, it just went from there straight to there. That's because if I wanted to drag it up there first and across there, I would need to go through and set a keyframe there, drag it up to there, set something there, and then from there set it over to there in three different times. One time, two times. Well, I guess that's two times. Okay. So if we press, go back to here now, and press play, or Alt-A, you can see that the animation is occurring, exactly how we set it. Okay, that's the absolute basics. As you can probably tell as well, that back at frame number one, I could have gone I and also set the rotation and then gone to number 80 and, okay, when you see that rotation tool there, I could rotate it. Actually, let's not use that. Um, I'm going to go through and go R for rotation. I want to fix it along the y-axis, so it's going to spin around that, and I'm going to type in 360. Enter. And then press I, rotation. Well, I've got a funny feeling that if I go back now, I know it is turning around, that's great. So as you can see here, over that time, it is rotating itself around by 360 degrees as it goes through all those those frames. Zero degrees here, 360 over there. And it's doing it at the same time as the other stuff. Okay, that's the absolute basics of animation. But I want to show you something a little bit interesting. 
See at the top up here, default. These are the default windows. Some lovely person has gone and given us um, this setup so that we can use stuff quite nicely. But they've also given us extra ones. Now different um, versions of Blender have got different um, setups in here, but I'm just going to click the animation one, and hopefully you've got something similar to that, especially if you're using um, Blender 2.52 something or other, which is the version I'm using now. It's the Alpha 2 version, a few um, versions along from that, or sub-versions I should say. Now, as you can see here, what I've got is... I have got a few extra windows, as I said, so I had to pause the video and I'll just come back to you. We've got this thing called a dope sheet window, right here. We've got, um, I can't remember what the name of that one there is, so I'll just click on that. It is the graph editor, right here. Ooh, if you love graphs, this is the place for you. Anything like me and uh, slightly mathematically challenged, even though I teach maths, hmm, yes. Um, then you'll find this um, not so interesting. Okay, really cool key. Watch this. If I hover over a window and press Shift Space Bar, that single window will now blow up to fill up the whole screen. Shift Space Bar, bring back in. I'm going to Shift Space Bar this um, this uh, graphs editor right here, and as you can see, this shows us a beautiful graph of what is happening to my objects over time. See down here? Um, we've got like 1 and we're going right up to let's say 100 or 80. Now along the way we've gone through and we've put these keyframes in. We started at 0 here, we've zipped up to uh, 8 point something or other up there and then we've... Now what this has resulted in is as we press Alt A as the timeline moves across, this is what our lovely little cube is doing. It's going upwards in this direction along the green y-axis, then it's going downwards along the y-axis, and then it stays in the same place. Z-axis, it goes along, up, along the z-axis, and then moving along. Now, you may be thinking, man, what is this axis thing again? Well, the axes are these things here. Y is going in that direction, Z is going up and down, and X is Notice our X was never changing, that's because we never pulled our cube in any of those directions. Okay, I want to show you another really cool key. Let's shift spacebar back into here again. The home key, what happens when I press it? The home key makes you zoom in to the important parts of your graph. In other words, the parts that you've added. I can then zoom like normal by rolling my mouse button up and down, my middle mouse button. I can go through and press the um, whole heap of different things in here. Like, for example, if I click here and press the G key for grab, I can actually move it around. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I can actually move the Y location up and down in there. Okay, notice as well, there's other things in there too, like the, um, Oh, the Y rotation. Oh, that's a good point. That green bar there is not actually the Y location. It's actually the Y rotation because as you can see there, that's 360. Oops, well, at least it was before I changed it. So I'm going to undo, bring it up to 360 again. Oh, Control Z, by the way, to undo. And you've got it. Okay, watch this. I'm pressing the B for border select. And you can select things just like you normally did before as well. Oops, escape. B for border select. And you can go through and select different things and then drag them, grab and drag them around. How's that? S for scale. Oh, I don't know if rotate does anything. I'm not even going to try that. I hope that's made a bit of sense. We're going to go through and look up some more detailed animation stuff later. As in, in other words, in the next tutorial. But that's the absolute basics for now. Okay, have a good day.